Welcome back to new exercise in Autodesk Inventor. In this exercise, we will learn about lifted flange. See here. So this is the our drawing. Now, first, let me check dimensions. All dimensions are in millimeter. Cot tolerance point five. This is remember thickness two millimeter. Material is stainless steel. Okay. So this is the our main structure, a main drawing. Now you will see the length. 200 now here there is a one circular portion 100 by 100 then corner radius 47 four numbers then you will see 250 by 150 the rectangle and there is a one hole cut out you will see four millimeter so and the material thickness also you will observe two millimeter and material thickness inside so let's make this one with the help of lifted boss base feature new now in template you will go to metric and here I'll, you will find sheet metal in millimeter create now before going to start any sheet metal part first you have to set some defaults like thickness so in sheet metal tab you will come here you will see setup option click sheet metal defaults now here sheet metal rule you will see this pencil icon just click and it will redirect you style and its standard editor now here i am going to select the things let's say material first stainless steel thickness 2 mm now the gap 2 mm let's keep this everything same even k factor also i am going to keep same i am not going to disturb anything save and close now see here thickness change 2 mm even though you can uncheck and write thickness here but this is the way you can do it now see material also allocated sheet metal steel k factor standard okay now first we have to create a drawing so simply press 2d sketch now which plane is suitable i feel x z plane is suitable for us now activate from here two points and center rectangle so i'm going to activate now let's do some dimensions 250 press tab key 150 enter right click ok now see if i'm going to check look top view now let me add some hole at this point 4 millimeter right click ok now right click on the sketch activate circle trim and i'm going to delete this right click ok but you will see two still it needs two more dimensions so i'm going to select vertical now select the center point and this center point now again activate horizontal select this point and this point right click ok now see it is seems fully defined fill it 10 now i am going to select these edges select both the edges and it will convert in corner convert into arc select one two and see the convert automatically converted corner converted into uh, fill it close now this is fully defined sketch now finish sketch now here i am going to apply one now drop down this origin and select which plane we selected x z plane drop down plane select offset from plane now you will see one window pop up here and you will see the dimension so put 200 millimeter and you will see the preview also click yes now select the plane and here select the symbol create sketch now again I am going to select rectangle because this is not circle this is rectangle press 100 press tab key in keyboard 100 enter ok now activate fillet now this time fillet is 47 you see in drawing it shows 4 fillet so select these two edges select 1 and 2 and see the corner converted into fillet select these two cancel now 
circle now here i want to create one hole 4 mm right click okay right click on circle construction trim and trim this one right click okay now let's see what dimension first i'm going to select vertical select the center point and this center point then select horizontal this center point and this center point right click ok now still there is one dimension balance so activate dimension now I'm going to select these two points and right click and here select this this dimension ok so that if I'm going to change this one it will also change so the whole geometry will be in perfect shape now this is fully constrained you will see at bottom finish sketch right click on plane uncheck visibility now in sheet metal you will find option lifted flange activate it now here you have to two you have to choose two open or two close profile you must be now first profile let's say i'm going to select this now the c cursor already shifted to profile 2 now select the second sketch now see now here if I am going to check bottom material thickness going outside in according to drawing it should be inside so I am going to change here offset direction look the material moves inside now the metal rule we already applied metal rule if you unchecked and even though you can apply from here but we already applied thickness bending radius everything so we don't need to change now bend radius also we applied equivalent to thickness so here bending radius also took by system now the most important thing output what kind of output you want now let me check now here we have two options one is press break and one is mold or diaphragm if you choose diaphragm see it is perfect circular edge you will get but we will not uh, get any other option to modify this but in press break we have more option to control it this these bends going to make with the help of bending machine so now you can control facet now from here if I am going to choose cot tolerance 0.5 I told you just remember 0.5 you will see this this self explanatory drawing distance from outer edge to circular edge 2 millimeter if I am going to select let's say 1 1 millimeter if I am going to choose facet angle now see angle the angle let's say 20 see the angle change and facet change 15 now the next last is facet distance according to this drawing you will see the distance from one end to another end this is the if I am going to change let's say 20 see it is changes but we don't need to, we will keep cot tolerance and this is 0.5 and see this is change converge means the bending line going to meet at one point see after this all bending going to meet at once one point so we don't need this one right now simply say ok look if I am going to say create flat pattern look even though in flat pattern you can control bend bend order annotation now see suppose this is first bend click this and here you will see this bend order edit check and let's say make second bend ok and see this is converted into second bend so first bend somewhere in another position one okay uni uncheck edit edit feature now see now we it will not give you any option see we can't change output so if you want to change output you have to delete it so first I am going to delete pattern 
okay then delete flange delete uncheck this consumed sketch okay otherwise sketch also delete now again activate lifted flange now first let me select this sketch now second profile this one now everything material let's see moving outside so make inside now this time i am going to choose output die formed okay now look create flange now look this is quite different result than the previous one so this is how we can do create a use flange tool and create simple part in autodesk inventor with the help of sheet metal feature i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in autodesk inventor thanks for watching